Hi there, I'm Mike. And I'm Chris. Today we're going to show you how you can make a high quality PCB on a budget CNC like the 38 in. Making your own custom PCBs will usually shrink down your builds, allow you to use tiny surface mount parts, and in general, make your builds look more professional. This is the finished PCB we're going to make. We also did an extreme test to see how precise the 38 in CNC can be, and we were amazed by the results. First, when milling a PCB, it's super important that you create a height map by probing the PCB board. Although the board looks flat, tiny imperfections will destroy the entire PCB. First, you need to design your PCB. There are many options out there, but we usually use the browser-based EasyEDA. This is not a sponsored video, but we still recommend EasyEDA for three reasons. Number one, it's free and easy to use. Number two, we can easily share the design and both of us can work on it. Number three, if we are happy with the PCBs and need several of them, we can order it straight from EasyEDA. So let's have a look at our PCB design. This is the space for the AT Tiny. Each pin is connected to a pad that will fit a pin header. This way we can mount it on a breadboard for our experimental designs. Once you're happy with your build, simply hit export and export it to Gerbil files. Now we need to convert it into a format that a CNC can understand. And for that we like to use FlatCam. This is also a free software. The link to FlatCam is down in the description. Open the top layer file and go to the selected tab. Specify the diameter of your bits and click the full geo button. In the geometry object window, select the depth you want to cut and set the travel set to a safe height. Click the generate button and FlatCam creates the CNC instructions. Make sure the preview looks good and save the CNC code. For the drill operations, go to File, Open, Open Exelon and open the Gerber Drill Path file. Finally, we need to cut out the board. Open the board outline file and click the cutout tool button. Select the tool diameter and if you like, add any margins and tabs. And finally, click generate geo. Then you can open the files in your preferred CNC controller software. We use Gerbil Control, also known as Kendall. We have a video about the 3018 CNC, where we compare it to our much bigger and stronger CNC. Click the card to see that video. If you found the video helpful, please leave a like. And subscribe.